information about what's happening in the world through your commercial television news channels. However, there is one channel who, since before Julie was arrested, who led us through the uprisings in North Africa and the Arab world, who've told us about a whole lot of issues with the truth that we need to hear, who brought us interviews with such luminaries as Hillary Clinton, Terence Moonbeam and General Baxter. Stepping out of your computer monitors right now, I want you to give it up for Juice Media's Rap News with Robert Foster. Good afternoon, everyone. Please make sure our musical system is working, if you can bear with us. The machine says, hello. Standing by. And now it says, load. Loading. And now it says, stop. Stopping. Now it says, play. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for welcoming us here to Melbourne. My name is Robert Foster. I'm representing the Juice Media Rap News. We are from the internet. <laughs> but today, we bring the set live and direct, and for the very first time, in the flesh. It's so good to see a small dedicated force out here to represent for this cause, and we're here to bring a special report. But the only question that remains, all the people here in front of the State Library, only one question to ask. Are you ready to hear it? Yes! In that case, today's story, as a shadowy spectre hangs over our ability to access and assess the facts, is an honest media the force that can free and restore balance and peace in this reach of the galaxy? The battle has shifted at light speed to cyberspace, where rebel journalists have made the jump to hyperspace, challenging the establishment's grip on information and are now being pursued by its sinister agents. To learn more of what's happening, we're set to bring in figures on opposite ends of the spectrum, like our first guest, who's set to call, ready, it's Julian Assange at the London Embassy of Ecuador. Mr. Assange, is your mic working? <laughs> Test it now, Julian. Truth will not be silenced. <laughs> I recommend keeping on testing it. <laughs> two, two. Take this one for the moment. <laughs> Mr. Assange, <coughs> good to have you back on the show. You're welcome. It's good to be back. Uh, I mean back. Hello. Tell us what's happened since last we spoke. Well, WikiLeaks has continued to deliver master strokes. For speaking more truth to power than all papers combined, we've been ostracized and greatly maligned by the lamestream media, where boards are sadly lacking and seen the state's haranguing of alleged whistleblower, Bradley Manning. I've been under mansion arrest, tagged by Serco. Then the bastards imposed an extrajudicial embargo, cutting off our PayPal donors and credit card flow. Why? Have you broken any laws or been charged? No. But the secret grand jury has issued a sealed indictment saying I'm aiding the enemy. They're seeking to extradite me. I'm confused. Who is the enemy? Clearly. Since WikiLeaks aids democracy, the enemy is the people. You and me. Okay, to compare to this, we bring in another Australian journalist whose media empire spans the equator, influencing every one of us in the world. It's the Emperor of News Corp, Rupert Murdoch. Hello, Robert. Tell us your take on journalism. 
It's like playing Monopoly against the world and winning. You might have the real fourth estate, the times, the sun, the sky, and many stars of all mine. I expanded my news of the world order patiently, and now my death star stations are fully operational. You've changed the face of the news with tabloids, pay TV. I prefer that by putting titties on page three, amidst the chronicle of crime, sports, and inanity, scandal of spam, which the polls soak up avidly, my empire would expand globally, spreading the fear, giving me the power to make or crush political careers. Well, well, both of you transform journalism's focus by exposing secret dealings or by keeping truths in close, so can you explain why one of you is a rich media mogul while the other is hunted like a criminal into mogul? You know, three, the media were feeding us lies about WMD. WikiLeaks is here to ensure history won't repeat. We publish truth instead of lies. That's certainly why we are being persecuted. We are doing journalism right. You will pay the price for your lack of television. You're headed straight for an American prison. Journalists, take a good look at this rebel fool. What is happening to him soon could happen to you. If you strike me down, the movement you're attacking will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> is burning the mass media to its foundations. Truth is a virus and courage is contagious. You bloody rapists! No one in Australia cares, they're too busy counting their shares and mining billionaires. I mean, let's check. Does anyone in this beautiful land even give a shit what happens to Julian Assange? You see, your overconfidence is your major flaw. And your faith in your friends is yours. <laughs> Enough of this. Send in the sweet troopers. Hello, ladies. Take him to the prosecutor. We have a hard for our hosts. Don't fight it. What's going on? Assange is being sexualized. He'll <laughs> make a good bride in prison. Hey, uh, this reminds me of my time in Sweden. <laughs> The rebels are crushed. We've accomplished our mission. Thank you, Australia, for your silence on this issue. Julian, what will be fall? Will you submit to the law? Don't worry, Robert. I still have a few mind tricks in store. Sorry, ladies. This is not the droid you're looking for. Oh, this is not the droid we're looking for. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have to teleport to Ecuador. <laughs> well done. Due to your vocal support, he's succeeded in escaping to the embassy of Ecuador. For now. Rewind and volume. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think it's time to end this session. It seems journalists have become a dangerous profession. Risking ostracism and expedition to provide a clearer picture of the world we live in. But without truth, history will certainly repeat. In this time of universal deceit, telling the truth has become a revolutionary act. So let us see who goes who disclose the necessary facts. What needs to be before, before we open the door and yell, I'm as mad as hell and not going to take this anymore. Or do we sit waiting for messiahs or aliens or a superhero to give the novel one and the same mean history? Dear viewers, it's happening. Will we ever get a similar chance again? History books will be written about the events this month. The story they will tell is up to us. Jacob, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> A break together again.
can't just be a group of rap news. Alright now, good on you for coming in, but stay in tight, because in case some of you haven't noticed, we're having a few technical difficulties here today with the PA. We've got just a few more speakers here today, and then we're going to put it to you about whether we march or not. So our next speaker here is from the opposite end of the spectrum, I guess, from Rap News, dealing with the, the hard-edged bullshit of the legal system, a human rights lawyer who's been helping on this case.